Hey guys, it is Michelle. Um, this is a, I'm not sure if I'd call it an update or a progress, I guess it's a progress video as far as my project pan is going. Um, this is going to be more like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? A vlog, I guess, about what's going on with that. So I am just going to get started and unfortunately like, <laughs> I'm using one of the products today and that's that black eyeliner that was in the one video. It's been interesting. I tried doing a cat look. I'm not sure if I'm liking what I did. And like I said, my makeup's kind of melting because it's a little hot today. Um, thoughts, comments, let me know. I'm not crazy about it, personally. Like, I know I didn't do it that well. I kind of like drew it in because the product is not, um, it's not easy to work with. I've used other liners and have gotten not as dramatic a wing but got close to it, and this product I'm not um, feeling. But anyway, I, I'm not going to show you the ones I finished up, uh, just because I thought I would save that and have that be my final big project pan video, but I will talk to you about um, my, what I'm going through as far as, you know. Um, I've gone through a few items already, which I'm very impressed with, and there's a couple that I will be finishing off very shortly. So I do have one item, it's going to be in the Project Pan video when I do it, that um, even though I used it, I just can't. I cannot. It is such a horrible product. It is going to be an item that's going to be one of those items I regret buying video. Um, the item was given to me, and I know like items I regret buying, I didn't regret buying it, but it's one of those items that truly needs to be spoken about because it is such a... The formula is horrible. It is a lip product. As you know, I had a lot of lip products on this one, and um, it was just horrible. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie, that is going to be my Achilles heel, is the lip products. I do use, like, um, chapsticks throughout the day and stuff like that, but I've got so many lip products. I think I kind of set myself up for failure as far as the lip products go, because there are so many of them. I should have realized that. I should have probably just picked a few of them and worked my way through it. But, um, whatever I don't, uh, finish, I will do in my next Project Pan video. But that's okay, so that, um, that I've learned about. I was like, okay, you kind of overdid it. You went a little cray-cray as far as the lip products go, but that's quite alright. You know, this is a, um, I've always done, like, um, trying to use things up things before, but never a Project Pan like this. Like I said, I have restricted myself from buying any kind of makeup until this is over. I have a Sephora gift card that Joey gave me for Easter that I still haven't used and I'm trying to behave myself on that because there's a ton of makeup that I want but I am behaving myself or at least attempting to. So far I have not purchased anything other than mascara. That's the only thing that I have allowed myself to purchase plus a um you guys I hold it a while ago when I first started this a, um, do I have it? I might actually have it here in my train box. I might have it here. Yes, I do. Uh, this was like 30 or 40% off before the semi-annual sale, like a while ago. And this was the graphic liner pen because I loved it so much and I wanted it while it was on sale. I haven't used it, no. But, um, that was the only other thing that I did and that was in the beginning of my project pan. The only thing that I'm allowing myself to buy are mascaras because I'm running this until uh, August. So that's the only thing because to keep a mascara that long is not exactly a good thing. So that's the only um, makeup I'm allowing myself to buy. Anyway, besides the lip products, I've, I think I've been hammering out through the other things fairly well. Um, you know, you don't like slather yourself in the products, but I've, feel pretty confident even with the face um masks because i have three masks on there the mint julep i have a i think it's called the old english by queen helene i think that's what it's called i should have wrote this down prior to making this video but that's okay and a chocolate and strawberries one um i'm doing okay with those now i don't do the masks every day because that's not good for your skin either but i do um like every few days i'll do a different mask. I also, with it being so hot, I also will use the mask on my neck and like, you know, the top part of my chest or decolletage as well. Um, because, you know, you get, you know, you sweat, you get pimples and, you know, not just your face, you know what I mean? So I've been using a little bit, not a lot. I don't bathe in it. 
But I'm doing okay progress on the face masks too. I didn't think I was going to um, get as far with that as I have. So I was really excited about that. I, um, yeah, I've been really happy about that progress. I'm trying to think what else I have used without giving you too much information about it. Um, there was one or two products. I mean, well, I, I could talk to you a little bit about what the products were. That's what this is about. Anyway, um, I used the foot thing, that little emo oil. I think it's called Blue Goo. That was done in one sitting. Um, like I said, I do like that product. The only thing I don't like is that it has a very distinct, strong smell because it's made of emo oil, which is basically um, a cousin of the ostrich. It has a very weird odor. Um, that's the only thing I don't like about it, but you put that on with like a pair of fleece or those aloe vera socks and your feet are so, so soft. I do have another product that I have been using that I do enjoy. I will be doing a review on that in the very near future, but I just thought I would give you guys a, um, update on what's going on as far as this project pen. I'm feeling very confident. I've done, um, pretty good. I actually made it through one of the eye pencils, which I was really impressed with because it takes a while for me to go through an eye pencil. Like I said, I did this today. I'm trying to, you know, just to play with makeup because it's my day off. So I figured, well, let's play a little bit, have some fun before, you know, trying. So I would never do a drastic look like this for the office. And I think I overdid it a little bit, but that's okay because, you know, that's what makeup's about. It's about having fun. You're not going to always do it um, absolutely perfect. But then again, a lot of you aren't going to go on camera like that either. I am just a nutcase. But uh, that's the black one. And... I got what I paid for on that. That one is by, uh, I think it was New York Color that I got that one from. It's not the best. It's not, but I don't want to, like I said, this is why we're doing Project Pan. It's not, um, I don't want to throw it out. So, um, it's okay. I don't typically do blacks. I like doing, um, colors on my eyes. I've, um, been doing the Gold Charge from Maybelline High Intensity Prig Pigment. Yeah. That I do have a backup of, and I remember stating that in the video. And I have the El Dorado from the Urban Decay line, and they are almost exactly the same. We will get into that at the end of Project Pan. But um, I bought two of these at the time because there was something in Cosmopolitan that had a look involving this exact pencil. And at the time, this was very hard for me to find, probably because of that magazine. So I bought two of them. Now I got so many eye pencils, like I said, especially in the gold that I don't need them, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to use through the one that I have. Anyway, um, this is beautiful on. It truly, truly is. I should, um, sh uh, next time I have it on, I'll do a video and I'll show it to you. It's very smooth and creamy. Very, very similar to the Urban Decay's El Dorado. Um, really, the only difference, if you look at them, is the cap, because there's a metal cap on the, um, Urban Decay one, and that's pretty much it. They're very, very similar, but this is what it looks like. This is the one I haven't opened. It's it's really good. I'm not gonna lie. It's a very um, it's very creamy. The only thing I don't like is that because it's so creamy and pigmented, you go through it really fast, which is good for a project pan. But if this was like one of those items that you couldn't find anymore, this is your last one, it's like your holy grail, you're going to go insane because you don't want to use a lot of it, but you kind of can't help it because it just naturally does that. But um, really, really do like that. I can't decide if I like it better than the Urban Decay or not. That'll be an entirely different video, but they're very ecstatic about that. What else am I using um, currently that... Is on Project Pan. I've been using my Bath and Body Works body shimmer. I've been using a lot of different. Um, I've been using that. I've been using my perfume, and I'm gonna talk to you about it. I'm just gonna. It's right over here, so I'm gonna grab it really quickly. Okay. All right, guys. So this is the one product. This is the Shimmer Swirl Cream from Victoria's Secret, and this was in Wild Kids. As you can see, I've gone halfway through it. That's not so bad. Um, I'm actually wearing some now. My thing about this is, I'm one of those girls that I could bathe in glitter, and I have bathed in glitter. It does have a very pleasant, beautiful, springy smell, because it's um, 
juicy pear and apple blossom so it's got this beautiful scent to it and yet if you look really close it's a very light light um silver shimmer but i feel when it's on you don't see it like i tried accenting like on the del cortage a little bit and i don't feel that it does what i would like it to do so it's just a really nice um moisturizer with the light scent as far as um i'm concerned would I, in the future, be buying more of this? No. Like I said, I got this, I want to say last year at the semi-annual sale at Victoria's Secrets. I don't think I paid $2 for it. I really don't. This was, like, ridiculously priced that I couldn't pass it up kind of a deal. So, you know, I mean, I was happy with that. But if this was a product that I paid the full $12 for and was expecting a really nice shimmer, like if I was going to a formal or a prom or something like that, I would have been very disappointed as far as that goes. But um, the fragrance is nice. They look really pretty. If you look at the swirling, I mean, because that, that green is supposed to be where the shimmer is in, it's in throughout it. But it's really pretty to look at. It's so cute to look at. So if you just wanted something, if you don't care that there's not a lot of shimmer in it and you just want it sitting there, that would be like, you know, a fun thing to do, I guess. But... I wouldn't go out of my way to get the shimmer creams or the uh, shimmer swirl cream again. Like I said, it's I like a little bit more. I'd like to see it a little bit more. Um, but again, it's nice. It smells good. I put it on every morning on my um, my arms. Like if I'm wearing like a, sh a shirt kind of similar to, well, I can't wear something like this to work. But like a three-quarter inch sleeve, I will put it on my arms just for a little bit of shimmer, even though I don't personally see it. But it smells really great. So I can't complain about this as one either but um i don't want this to get too long but there's one more product ouch what i sit on oh i sit on flip flop not good anyway there's one more product that i will talk to you about before um letting you go there will probably be more videos as far as my project and um because i am doing this a three month thing i think a lot of girls do three months let me know down below is that like common this is new to me so I don't know if there's a right or a wrong way of doing a project pan. Um, one of you guys, though, um, you are one of my subscribers, obviously. Um, I checked out your video, and I really thank you for those tips. And seeing yours has, um, it's kind of inspirational. So I'm pushing forward. And thank you for watching. That was, um, I really appreciate that. And thank you for leading me towards your videos as well. That was um, a lot of fun, and it gave me some really awesome ideas. So anyway, the last time I'm going to speak to you about is another Victoria's Secrets item. And I don't know, guys. I was at the, the semi-annual sale. If you saw my other video earlier, I I haven't been too impressed lately. Is it just me, or I mean, some of the clothing are super, super cute, but I'm not really impressed with anything else right now. I mean, I love the bombshell and stuff like that, but they're really not coming out with anything spectacular. At least that's just me. I wasn't. I was a little disappointed with the semi-annual sale this year, but that's okay. It's good because I'm Project Pan, so I didn't buy anything. Anyway. This is the Love Rocks perfume that I'm using up. Mm. And honestly, I'm um, pretty impressed with this. Now, it is more of a nighttime -y scent, yes. Have I been using it for work? Yes. Um, I'm going to use some right now. It's got a more dark, uh, musky, adult-like scent. But I do like it, and I do deem it appropriate for work. Uh, I've gotten actually a lot of compliments on this one since I've been using it. What I love, and as you can see, the pump still works on this one. This pump was actually made a lot better than the, um, the Gorgeous. The Gorgeous just didn't, it worked once, and that was it. I use this regularly, and I will sometimes, um, when I have an early day from work, I will spread it on a little bit more just to revamp. Uh... I've used this a lot, and it still works just as good as the first time I used it. So this pump works beautifully. I don't know if it's because it has the long pump on it. I'm not sure. But it works beautifully. The only thing that I don't like is because the packaging itself is, like, painted a deep red. It's not like I can see through it and know exactly how much is in this bottle. I'm going to take it off. I haven't gotten very far with this. It. Like a quarter gone. Not bad considering um, how long ago I started on this. This isn't a, a long video. Um, this it hasn't been very long for me since I've started this. So um, I do like it. The only thing I don't like is this tends to leak. So you gotta be careful with that. This part of it. 
but the pump itself works beautifully. I am really shocked. I'm a little upset that this doesn't exist. At least I, when I went to Victoria's Secret, I didn't see the Love Rocks anymore. I could be wrong. It could still be there. But I didn't see this perfume there. At least not this type of bottle or anything like that. But um, really impressed with the... This structure is way, way, way better than the gorgeous one. So I am happy with... Woo! See what I mean? There you go. But it looks so cute sitting on the counter too. Very, very pretty bottle. That might be one of those bottles that I do keep because I did get rid of the gorgeous. I ended up because I was so frustrated with that bottle that I ended up just getting rid of it. But this one is very cute and I can also see refilling that bottle with something else. So I'm kind of excited about that. So guys, that is my progress on my project pan. I've been, um, so far I feel it's been a very positive experience. I think I've been doing very, very well. I have had some great support from you guys as well. So I thank you for um, supporting me through this. Um, I'm very excited about it. I truly am. This is like awesome. It's a great way to go through product. I think I might... Would you guys be interested in seeing like a makeup collection video? I, had, I did one a while back, but again, it's been a while back. Uh... I keep majority I've like I've condensed over time most of it is in this train case again I need to after the three month of this project pan I will try to do another one I would like to get into the habit of doing that because I think it's kind of fun or treat myself to something like that I haven't fully decided yet I might do like project pan three months give myself a month to you know use what I'd like to use or you know there's those special days where you don't have to use those items and then do another project pan. I don't know how we're going to do this. Um, still deciding. I'm still feeling it out. But I really do enjoy doing this kind of um, video. It's a challenge. It's been fun. And it saves you money too. Because it makes you rethink what's in your collection. And stuff like that. So I've really been enjoying this. I hope you guys too. If you want. Um, let me know how often you want me to do these updates. It's been a while. Uh, since I uploaded those videos. So if you want me to update this like weekly, bi-weekly, let me know. Like I said, this is a new video for me. and um, But it's a lot of fun. I've been really enjoying this as well. I will be doing instant reviews and stuff like that because I am so excited because I didn't realize how many of you were um, into that. I love burning incense as much as I love burning candles. I sometimes have trouble deciding which one I enjoy more. So knowing that a bunch of you guys enjoy it as well, it is so awesome. I can't wait to show you my incense burners. I got some gorgeous incense burners. They are just, oh my goodness. Like, the one place where I bought them, they all came from the same place. I wish they would get more in. But I've kind of, like, cornered, like, I bought them all. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been so much fun for me. And I will keep you updated. I'll see you soon. Bye.